Okay, good morning. I am going to do a what I eat in a day video, starting off with a decaf latte that Matthew made me. It's a Wednesday, so I'm making a cake today. We're taking Felix to Papi and Noni, so it's gonna be me and Eric today. I'll show you what we eat. Some ground flax. have this we're gonna play some guess who right Felix yeah lunch a while ago. I've been making the cake and having some icing, but we need to have a snack. So, I'm gonna think of something. Okay, I have my plate of hummus and <laughs> carrots. You want, oh, you want some hummus? <laughs> Yummy. We're gonna share our hummus and carrots. Well, I'll eat the carrots. Mm. No, don't put your hand in it. Hopefully the dishwasher isn't too loud. I wanted to show you what I got in a package from Nature Santé in Montreal. This is where I get my soy curls from. But they also had, I got three packs of this. The Beyond Chicken Tenders. I've never seen them in stores before. So we got them to try them out. I got soy curls. I actually got, how many soy curls did we get, Eric? Nine bags of soy curls. <laughs> we love soy curls. So for dinner tonight, I'm gonna use one of these bags of soy curls. I'm going to make our kale Caesar, what do we call them? Kale Caesar, kale Caesar, spicy kale Caesar wraps. Our spicy kale Caesar wraps with soy curls. And I use buffalo sauce on the soy curls. I was at Walmart the other day and they have like massive containers of, of um, Frank's buffalo sauce. So it's good, I bought two of them because we I use it so much, I love it. It's so good. Those wraps were my my pregnancy addiction. They, I, they were so good, I couldn't get them spicy enough. Yeah. And we've just continued because we really like them. So I'm gonna have those tonight, so I'll show you, I'll make them. And the other thing I got in this order were these Unreal. They're, they're kind of like a Snickers bar. So I'm gonna use them for cake inspiration. And also these, the peanut, um, kind of like Reese's. Which also, I just heard, did you hear this? Reese's peanut butter cups are coming out with a vegan version. These are good though too. And also, I told Felix the other day, we have to make our own. We're gonna make our own. So. We'll try that out sometime. Anyways, that's this. We're gonna continue snacking and it'll be time to make dinner soon. The boys are downstairs. Well, Matthew and Eric are downstairs. Felix is sleeping over at my parents tonight. So when Felix sleeps over at my parents, it's the night that we have our spicy Caesar wraps. Spicy kale Caesar wraps. So I'm gonna make them, I'll show you. I make these so often, love them so much. So I had those soy curls. I put them in here with some hot water to let them hydrate back up. I'm going to go over to the air fryer. I'm going to take them and squeeze out the extra liquid. I'm gonna cook them. I, I don't have a set amount that I cook them for. So let's say, let's do three, let's do 350 for 13 minutes. <laughs> Okay, so I'll do this and then we'll make the kale Caesar. Okay, air fryer is running. 13 minutes, 3.50. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Okay, so 
So where did my garlic? Okay, I washed my kale. We're gonna make this kale Caesar dressing. So I first made this one from, it's Minimalist Baker. And I've just been making it so much over the years that I don't even measure. Um, my garlic press is in the dishwasher, which you might also be able to hear behind me. So I'm just gonna mince up this garlic really good. Okay, minced garlic. Capers, I'm going to add some of the brine. I don't know how much. What was that? Like a tablespoon. Now I'm going to scoop. Oh, that's not going to work out. We'll use the back end. I'm going to scoop out a bunch. Like one and a half, two tablespoons of capers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And cut these up too. Okay, just slicing those up, then adding them into the bowl. I have some of this mustard sweet with heat. When the kid I babysat for, when I was in high school, introduced me, he got me onto this, however many years ago, what was that? 15, no, I'm older than that. 15, yeah, maybe 15, 17 years ago. Anyways, it's been my favorite one since then. I'm going to get the zest. Okay. This is a pretty small lemon. So I'm gonna do the whole thing. Adding lemon juice. I think just one is good. One half and I'll save the other half. Adding in some nutritional yeast. All just measuring based off of what I think works. And then, this is the hummus that we like to use. That's one we like, and we're going to scoop, what's that? Like, three quarter cup, maybe? And just mix it all together. You can add salt and pepper to it as well. I think in her recipe, like, there's options to add maple syrup or olive oil, but... Mmm! Mmm, mmm, mmm! Okay. Put that to the side. Okay, now it's time to prep my kale. So I'm gonna de-stem it. I just take my hand, put it on here, and pull. I'm gonna go through and do that with my pieces. See how easy that is? Just comes right off. Sometimes there's bits that don't come off, but there we go. And I've got all the kale and chop. And we have a bowl full. And now, because kale is so much better when it's massaged, I just take my hands, massage it into the dressing. Now we've tried it with different kinds of lettuce, different greens, but we both agree, me and Matthew, that there's something about kale. And if we do it with like romaine or iceberg, we just like, it's not the same and we want the kale. So this is what I do. Just massage it in. Makes it a little, I think, what does massaging do? It just, one, makes it easier to eat. Does it make it easier to digest as well? I don't know. That's the kale Caesar salad. I'm gonna wash my hands. I put the air fryer back on because they weren't, I didn't shake them in between, so I need them to crisp up for a bit more. So I put them on for four more minutes at 350. I was just thinking about this. I have a food cycler, our, community, I don't even know what we call it. It's not a municipality, but maybe it is. Our region, our local government uh, started this program. They were testing out providing residents with food cyclers because we're rural and a lot of like cottages are out here. They 
don't offer a composting service. So they were giving out these food cyclers for people to test out. And I love it, especially in the winter when we can't access our compost bin very often or easily. It's so good to have. So I'm gonna run this, but I just put that in there and then it breaks it all down and I can use it in the garden in the summer if I store it or it takes up less space in the garbage. So I'm gonna turn it. So my curls are done. Adding them in here. I have some buffalo sauce. I have to get some more. Hey look, I found this bigger one. I'll add some more. You could end up like seasoning these, baking them in the oven, adding more than just the hot sauce, but no, this, it works. This tastes good. I don't need to do all that extra. Okay, these are coated. I am going to assemble the wraps. All right, we've got the wraps here. Honestly, so simple. Just take some of the Going to enjoy those. And then I made a gluten free cake today. So I'm going to try that in a little bit. And I think we're going to watch Australian Survivor. So I'll show you the cake later. Okay, I just finished um, filming my gluten free cake. Mm. I don't know. It could be better. I have work, some work to do on this. We're going to finish watching this episode of Australian Survivor and then probably call it a night. <laughs>